Turning to Commitment 2024, just hours off the debate stage, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump are already back on the campaign trail. And each one of those candidates looking to expand his appeal in states lost in the 2020 election. The president rallied in Raleigh, North Carolina. Mr. Trump spoke to voters in Virginia. Both presumptive nominees took jabs at one another today. And last night on the debate stage in Atlanta, while answering questions about big topics like the economy, abortion access, foreign policy, and immigration. When he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were, the families were separated. We had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. The president's shaky speech and inability to clearly communicate his points, though, are raising concern even in the Democratic Party, longtime Biden ally, South Carolina Congressman Jim Clyburn, told reporters today that the debate, quoting here, had some shortcomings, end of quote, but he and other Democrats say they still support the president's reelection campaign. And the debate is also drawing some mixed reactions from people right here in our area. Our Nate Stanley has been out speaking with voters. Nate, what have you been hearing out there? Well, people tell me regardless of who they plan for, plan to vote for in November, they have concerns for both candidates and their readiness to lead the country for the next four years. It was like a parody movie of what it should be actually like. Like many Americans, Megan Holmich watched Thursday's presidential debate from home. She says it was hard to watch both candidates struggle. It really just shows you how America's doing right now, and it's not very good. Cedric Johnson watched and says he was disappointed with both candidates, but fears for the misinformation spread by the former president. The information that Trump gave up was just not factual information. And, and that's the thing I guess concerned me more than anything. Todd Jetty told me the debate didn't change his plans to vote for Trump in November and increased his distrust for President Biden. A reading the President Biden's face that he was like in a different world kind of thing and he wasn't paying attention to what was going on around him. Many of the people we spoke to on Friday say they didn't even watch the debate. Melissa Miller says it's because she's disappointed in both candidates. I think both have major flaws and, you know, I'll be voting independent. I, I feel like there's two spectrums of thought and that doesn't really represent most people I know who are really somewhere in the middle. Now with a one-year-old daughter who will be raised here, Hilmich says the debate in this year's election has her worried for her child's future. I'm scared for when she gets older, you know. What is it? What is America going to look like in 20 years, you know? But we hope, we hope for the best and pray for the worst. Now, Nate, we know this June debate much earlier than normally scheduled presidential debates are. So when is that next debate scheduled for? Yeah, both candidates have agreed to do another debate later this year, and that is scheduled for September. Reporting in Greenville, Nate Stanley, WYFF News 4.